Good afternoon, and uh, welcome to, well, Blind Talks with Blind Prime. Uh, and I haven't done a Blind Talks in a while. I just haven't um, had the time. I've been focused on doing a lot of other things and, and trying to get this year off to the right start. Been kind of rocky, but overall, I think it's going well. I'm already up 71 subscribers since the start of the year, and that, that, that's amazing. Uh, this, is, this is the second largest growth I've had in a single month. Since um, since Viper Island gave me a shout out, and I really appreciate it whenever individuals give me shout outs. Um, the uh, comic book people just gave me a nice shout out, and uh, I'm gonna give them a shout out soon in a video. I'm gonna do Tarn as soon as I get it, and you know I'm gonna call them out on Tarn, because <laughs> I know they love Tarn too. So the uh, and I'm just terrible with names, and I do all this stuff off the cuff. So. If I forget something, I, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I will remember it next time. Um, at least I'll try to remember it next time. But today we're going to talk about something that I'm, I'm not sure if I've talked about on this channel or not. And we're going to talk today about helmets for the blind. Now, I've got this big leather fedora in front of me. It's, uh, it's got a wide brim and uh, it, it's a little beat up. It's a little beat up. It's a little old. This thing's... I've been wearing it for over 10 years. It's a good hat, and I'm going to talk to you today about it and why I wear this hat. Now, number one, I live in Florida, where you don't know when it's going to rain. So, I got a leather hat and put mink oil on it. Why did I put mink oil on it? Because it's waterproof. This thing, you know, it can have the rain pour on it all day long. My hair is not going to get wet. I don't know about the rest of you, but I absolutely hate that feeling. When, like, one raindrop hits your hair, it makes some of it wet, and then it climbs falls down your scalp. Ugh. No, no, not not for this guy. I live in Florida. I'm going to wear a Florida hat. I'm going to keep a, keep the rain off my head and keep the rain off my Bluetooth devices whenever I have them in my ears and stuff. You know, you could just chat all day long in the middle of a rainstorm whenever you have one of these. But why else would I wear such a hat? I and mean, it is kind of heavy and it does get hot in the summer, but you know, it's a good hat to have. It keeps the sun off your face, keeps the sun off your head, keeps the rain off your shoulders. You know, it's not too bad that there's another reason. And there's an important reason for this. You know, I've talked to you before about my Chris Park Designs cane that I have and how awesome I like it. It's a fun cane. And uh, I, I do recommend, you know, many people, however many people can get it, get a hold of it. I really hope that's the correct name. I really do hope that. I, I met that guy at an accessibility conference years ago down in Orlando. And uh, he wasn't allowed to sell the canes because for some reason, when you go to, whenever you have an accessibility conference, you, uh, it's a, uh, it, it's a meh on who and who cannot sell you things. So even though he had a bunch of canes that I could use, I was not allowed to buy them because he wasn't a merchant booth there. He was just a booth showcasing things. And I tried to do that whole thing of like, hey man, let me just donate you $70 and then, uh, you know, you give me one of these canes as a gift. You know, this isn't a purchasing option. I'm donating to you, and then I get in something in return. But he didn't really want to do that. But no, it's understandable. No, he did have a, uh, was it Stevie Nicks? No. Um, hmm. Stevie Wonder. He had a cane he designed for Stevie Wonder that was all gold. And I was like, well, you know, why did you paint it gold? And he's like, well, it was mainly just for me. You know, so, I mean, Stevie ain't going to see it. I, I do agree with him. I wouldn't have seen it either if uh, my vision hadn't been as good as it was back then. It's a lot worse now. Anyway, I digress. So something that's Im just as important to a blind person as their cane should be their headwear. The cane will tell you everything that it possibly can tell you about the ground and environment you're around. But that cane cannot tell you about low-hanging eaves, low-hanging limbs, a weird signs that have a pole off in the you know off to the right somewhere, and then hang above your head, kind of off center, you know, so that drivers can see it better. You know, the 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 cane doesn't tell you about those low-hanging obstacles. And if you live in Florida, then you understand the fear of the spider, the banana spiders. Those kings get large. And your cane ain't gonna tell you about a banana spider web. No siree, it ain't. It's not gonna tell you at all about a banana spider web. But you know what will protect you from the banana spider web? This hat. This hat's protected me from banana spider webs. And then I felt a banana spider climbing on it. I just grabbed the hat off and started shaking it like mad. You know, banana spider went away. Was it in my hair? Was it in my hair? No, it was not. 
I did not have a giant spider in my hair. I had a giant spider on my hat, and the giant spider went away after I shook the hat off. That's another reason to have the hat. Because as the blind, we don't know what we're going to experience in the world. And so we have to prepare for every possible outcome because we can't see it coming. And you never see the spider webs. But there's things about this hat I also wanted to showcase. Like, you know, I've got a, I got a, a dent here in the front where some dick slammed a door open on their car as I was walking by and it went boop right into there. Didn't give me a scar, didn't hurt me at all. Man, just popped there, and then they were really embarrassed. I got a couple of bucks from them. Um, over here, we've got this uh, area that's bent up a little bit, and that's that's because I, uh, I guess just slammed into a tree by accident. It happens. Tree limbs scrape by. We bent it up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Over here, we've got more dents. I've got some, uh, some times at the club where I slammed into the corners of uh, rooms, and... Uh, you know, trying to get around. I always wore this to the club because it kept me safe, at least from things like uh, like I've described before, especially fast-moving doors. Ooh, fast-moving doors. <laughs> Somebody flies open, you know, flings open a door really fast. Your cane may break in the, or bend, and uh, you know, you're going to get hit with a door unless you have a helmet on. And that's what this is. It's a nice little helmet, and you know, I've got some tassels on it, and I've got some random stuff. So you've got a uh, circus thing from the Ringling Brothers Circus, Three Ring Circus, down here in, uh, they have the museum down here in Florida. It's really cool. I advise you to check it out if you ever get down to St. Petersburg. And on the back, I've got a little symbol of faith. Over here on the side, I've got a little piggy. I got it from Seattle. The pig is a, a German sign for good luck. And uh, also, um, it's... I got it as in representation of the crazy awesome pig they have in Seattle where you can put money to donate to the homeless. That was really neat. And then, um, an old cat toy feathers. There's some feathers that I found from a cat toy, and I shoved them in the hat. And I like it. You know, this hat's got a lot of character. It's been with me for many, many years. And it's been with me all the way, um, you know, across the nation. It's seen Seattle. You know, it, it's dipped in the Pacific Ocean. It's dipped itself into the Atlantic Ocean. And this thing's been to the Gulf. The only, I don't think it's been to Maine, New Hampshire, or um, Vermont, um, but just about everywhere else in these states, this hat has been. It's, it's been my companion on all my travels, and it's there because blind people need helmets, and it's not discussed enough in any of the accessibility conferences I've been to. I've been to the National Federation of the Blind conferences, and it's just never talked about. They never talk about the fact that blind people need helmets. It, I don't even know what they do at the NFB because all it just seemed like they were just talking and complaining and nothing ever seemed to get done. That's uh, one of the reasons I just don't go back anymore. But this is something I want to change. All right? I've already got other blind people in my, in my city wearing hats. The ones I talk to and convinced to wear hats are wearing hats now. And it's something, you know, my, my brother, who's also got the same condition as me, and is losing his sight, he wears a hat every day. And he's told me that it's helped him from a lot of things that he wouldn't have seen that would have slapped him in the face and maybe cut his face up. You know, and he's, he's going to law school. He's got to have a pretty face. And he's going to be a blind lawyer. I'm just a blind communicator. But, you know, I don't like the courtroom. No, I've been there a few times. I went there once for jury duty, and it was just about the worst experience of my life. And next to other things, but, oh, whew, no, no. I like talking too much to not talk. Um, I got a problem. <laughs> About opening my mouth and not stopping. <laughs> or chewing gum in the courtroom. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Look, guys and gals, what I want you to do is really think about hats for the blind. And if you, if you come across a blind person in your life who is not wearing a hat, please show them this video. Please inform them that wearing a hat could really help them out. And if you don't believe me, let me lower myself down here for a second and make sure I'm in the camera view, all right? Now, we're gonna look at this, all right? So that, there, there's a scar right there. Oh, wonderful scar from where I hit a lamppost. And then over here, there's a scar here from wherever I slammed into the corner of a wall, you know? And then there's another scar that's over here somewhere. Maybe it's on this side. Yeah, there, there it is, it's up there. I've got three scars around my eyebrows from where I've slammed into things because I wasn't thinking. One time, 
you know, the big um, steel staircases they have at apartment complexes that have that giant steel I-beam that runs up the side of it? Yeah, I miscounted my steps one day and slammed myself into that I-beam. And I'll tell you that story one day, because that's actually kind of funny. Uh, I, I literally thought I was going to get robbed. But, who knew? Slamming your head against the steel beam and falling flat on the ground. <laughs> Caused the people that I thought were going to rob me just to laugh and run away. So, eh, I'm a little bit lucky. But, wear a hat. That's my advice to you. As a, as a blind person to other blind people, to other visually impaired people, you know what? If you have any sort of visual impairment, wear the hat. The sun, you know, keeping the sun off your eyes directly will also keep your eyes from wearing out and meaning that you'll keep what little vision you have longer. And that's an important thing. Wear sunglasses and hats. Keep your eyes around longer. The, the, the sun's getting worse on eyes. That UV will really harm your retina. So be aware and wear a hat. Thanks for watching. Please tune into my channel, Blind Underscore Prime, where I talk about the action figures, stories, and everything from a blind person's perspective. And if you're wondering, yes, I am blind. I've been blind since uh, 2016. I've been legally blind since I was 16, interestingly enough. And I'm 35 now, so do the math. Have a great day. Until next time, bye-bye for now.